All right, from low power, uh, this is an acanthotic epidermal lesion. You can see the kind of more normal epidermis out here. And then here you can see that the epidermis gets thick and has relatively even thickness throughout. There's an elongation of the reedy hyperkeratosis over top. And um, one thing that I notice is there's this kind of gentle undulation of the surface, kind of these rolling hills and little little small valleys. And it's, it's reminiscent of the Veruca plana um, and that's because this is a form of Veruca plana. And look, just like Veruca plana, it's acanthosis, hypergranulosis, gentle undulation of the surface rather than those long finger-like projections of a Veruca vulgaris. It's the kind of rolling hills of the Veruca plana or the flat wart. And when you look closer, you can see the beautiful halo effect. These uh, cells have this kind of pale, pale gray or vacuolated cytoplasm that leave nuclei floating in the center. And this is basically HPV effect. These are uh, basically a form of coilocyte. And they are kind of have that pale, pale gray to sometimes clear cytoplasm. And not just a vacuole. Remember, keratinocytes can have lots of uh, vacuole artifact. Like, look, that vacuole right there, that's the kind of vacuolation artifact you can see in keratinocytes all the time. To see a coilocyte or an HPV type effect in skin, what I want to see is a large nucleus. The nucleus is enlarged. They're often kind of pale, nuclear chromatin. Sometimes they have nucleoli, like you can see here. And the cytoplasm tends to be more of a pale color to me rather than a perfectly clear vacuole. The appearance is very different than the raisinoid kind of coilocytes that you often uh, learn about when you're talking about cervical cytology. And to any cytopathologist watching this that might disagree with my description, I apologize. I'm, I'm not a cytopathologist. But in skin, at least, these are what coilocytes look like. And in flat warts, you tend to have more prominent pale coilocyte type change than you often see in Veruca vulgaris. But there's a special thing about this Veruca plana. This flat wart has this awesome blue gray color here, this very distinct color. Nothing else really to me looks like this. This, uh, these large um, enlarged uh, keratinocytes have this very prominent blue gray, kind of slate blue gray color. And this is a very special type of Veruca plana or flat work called epidermodysplasia verusiformis, or EDV. And it's caused by a variety of different HPV subtypes that give you this very distinct blue-gray appearance, which I find so incredibly um, aesthetically pleasing to look at. Uh, there is a form of this disease that is due to germline mutations in the EVER1 uh, EVER1 and EVER2 genes where people get uh, have a special predisposition to get this type of HPV infection and they get numerous flat warts and they have a higher risk of uh, developing squamous cell carcinoma from them. But the vast majority of cases of EDV that I've seen are single individual lesions that occur sporadically in patients that don't have any syndromic association. So sometimes they can actually be um, sampled as a Veruca plana. Clinically, they're the, the lesion that's being seen. But actually, much more often in my practice, I'll see them in the background of, you know, an adjacent to a basal cell carcinoma or something else. And I'll just see a tiny little focus, like about this big, of these beautiful blue gray keratinocytes that have that EDV change. And in those settings, it's totally an incidental finding of no significance when it occurs in that setting. And I, in fact, I don't usually mention it in my report, but of course, I'm sure to point it out to any students or residents or fellows sitting with me because I just never get tired of seeing um, epidermodysplasia verusiformis, EDV. A really, really great example of it. And it also, if you take the blue-gray away, a really classy example of a regular Veruca plana flat wart uh, in the background here. So kind of a hybrid lesion here almost of regular Veruca plana and then EDV form of Veruca plana right next to it. Really cool case.